far we fallen, bruv. We are a calamity, bruv. Because why? It's the, the beachhead, bruv. It's the streamline. Let's get Kindergarten FC full flow. Let's make sure we buy all these young kids from different continents. Beachhead Chelsea, let's streamline. Let's, let's take over the Modi Clubs model. Let's implement Red Bull, Brighton FC, Seagull Merchants. We love them. Absolutely fantastic. Really profitable. That's what we're going to do. Uh, Chelsea Football Club, because we, we were, it's irrelevant that they're an elite football club. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant that they're the biggest club in London. It's irrelevant. We don't care. Why don't we care? Because we're going to implement our multi-club, multi-pound note, pound note infrastructure. Yeah. And we're going to collaborate. We're going to collaborate with all the wrong ones in the game. We're going to listen to everyone else except the supporters at Chelsea. We're going to go with an unproven blueprint because we all know well that the blueprint's blue like Chelsea. But uh, we're going to implement our clear like blue blueprint uh, because we come from the United States of America and we're going to land it. We're going to land. What does Johnny Minerals say? He says land the minerals, is it? We're going to land the minerals. You ain't land no minerals, bruv. You're landing fraudulent minerals at Chelsea, yeah? Because you're frauds, your money ball and all this jazz. It's destroyed us. It's fucking gutted us out, bruv. We're completely gutted out our football club. We've got nothing left, man. We've got no fighting spirit. We've got no experience. We've got nothing. We've got no elite nothing, bruv. Everything's getting cut out of this football club, man. Every single thing's been cut out. Do you understand me? Yeah. Greetings from Centre Parks, by the way. That's uh, that's the background. I hope you're all well. This is just ridiculous, though, isn't it? Oh, are you fucking having me on? Are you joking me right now? That's how deep that... This is how far they reach. Let me smoke that for you, Siri Merchant. Yeah. Let me smoke that for you, Ted Lasso Bowley, yeah? You think you can fool us? You're a long way from Starbucks, mate. Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Let's have it right. This is not Chels! This is not Chels! This is not Chels! Let's have it right. Up the Chels, up the Minnows FC. Big up to every single one of you live and locked in. I hope everyone's doing well and having a wonderful time. Everyone's having a great time. Listen, it's back to life, back to reality, back to life, back to reality. Let's have it right. Put your realities in the, in the bin, bruv. Yeah, because the reality is the truth. Everything I've been saying, mate. It's all come to fruition. Let's have it right. Doesn't change because of a lucky result, you know, against United. United. But anyway, first and foremost, there's almost 400 of you lot in here. I want every single one of you to smash to pieces that like button. Every single one of you smash that like button. If you haven't smashed it, don't bother watching, bruv. We don't do this for free. We do this for likes, don't we? Don't we do it for clicks? We do it for likes, clicks, and we want to make all the money and we want to sell ourselves out to the brown envelopes and all the brown brown. Oh, we want the pound note. We want the pound note. Yeah, jog on. Jog on. Let's have it right. Just smash the like button. Costs you nothing to do that. Also, we've got the subscribe button as well. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? We're on the road to 20K. We're now, we're, we're, we're sort of amongst the, amongst the heavies now over the 10K. It's taking a little while to get there, but we're there now. and We're ready to take off. It's going to be lift off, mate. I'll tell you that now. So make sure you're strapped in, you're buckled up, and you've got your nice Lavazza Super Glenma, because we're not a long way from it on the Minnows FC. And on top of that, we've got the notification bell. Ding dong, let's have it right. Make sure you do smash that so you know when we go live on the Minnows FC. And we've got the Minnows FC Ultras membership, which is pinned at the top of the live chat and down below in the description. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. We land it, bruv. Yeah, we land it. Listen, respect to everyone in here. Yeah, salute to all the proper Chels, all the Minnows FC Ultras. And I'm sure there's plenty of rivals in here. Now, I did say to the Minnows FC Ultras last night and shout out Tobes. That was a fantastic stream. That was blockbuster. I said to him, go easy on some of the people in the chat. You know, some might have different opinions, but let's have it right. If they're taking the absolute biscuit, bruv, you know what to do with that biscuit. Yeah, you dip it in tea or a coffee, like that's super glamour, and you let that go all soggy, bruv, and you don't eat that, yeah? You go and bin that, 
and then you go and make another Levat Super Crema, nice and cream blood, nice and nice and proper. Grandma on top, you know what I'm saying? And you re-drink it properly, bro. You know what I'm saying? But listen, you do your thing. You do what you got to do. All the chat, man, they're golden, bro. They've been here since day one. They're landing their minerals 24-7. And let's have it right. you got to respect them. And if you don't like it in the chat and you don't like the Minerals FC Ultras that, all, that basically put everyone in line in this chat, then I'm sorry. It's just not for you. Maybe it's just simple as you don't have the minerals, mate. Yeah, you gotta land it and be 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 respectful. You know what I'm saying? Be respectful. Anyway, we move on. Smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, shout out to all the minerals if she ultras, big up to everyone watching, and let's have it right. And shout out to Lee as well. He gave us a, Lee, a redirect last night, and he's uh poetically done a redirect tonight for obvious reasons. Cause yes, I'm gonna speak about Kai Generational Burkham S Minerals absolutely right, because we got dross up front, we ain't upgraded. So, yeah, I'm going to address that because I'm the one that didn't want to sell the geezer. Let's have it right. So we're going to address that. We're going to address everything, bruv. But first and foremost, let's address the absolute state and capitulation of this beautiful, the most elite. And I'm going to say this. And I'll say it with pr uh, proud as you like, bruv. We see things they'll never see. Let's have it right. The biggest club in London, the most elite club in London, the Chelsea. Shout out Chelsea old boys. Let's have it right. Our minerals FC Ultra and Chelsea Ultra. Shout out to all the Chelsea Ultras. Every single one of you. Yeah. Because now it's time to make a stand. Yeah, I've had enough, bro. I've had enough of this now. This is to to listen. Let me just name a few. Nottingham Forest, we lost. Yeah. We lost to Brentford. Yeah. We lost to Middlesbrough. Yeah. We drew to a 10-man Burnley, gaffeless Burnley. We drew, being ahead twice. And now, without further ado, the cherry on the top. We go to Sheffield United, bottom of the table, mate. Yeah, bottom of the table. In the mud, in the absolute gutter. They're in the gutter, bruv. They, they, they know they're not getting out. They know they're getting relegated. It's, 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 they know it. Every player that goes on that pitch, they know they're getting relegated. And we go there after beating United, United, United. Who, let's have it right, got a very soft penalty against themselves in the second penalty, which Carl Palmer bagged as, as he always does to have it right. Um, and then we go and get a deflected goal and then they capitulate and we win the game. And let's have it right. I was buzzing. I'm on my seat. I'm chanting. I'm loving it, bruv. But let's have it right. It's Vibes FC at Chelsea because get with the, get with the program. Get with the program. If you ain't with it now, then don't even come near us, bruv. Don't even tweet. Don't even go on platforms. Don't bother. I don't want to hear your nonsense. Oh, get put out. Get put out. Look at copy and paste merchants, pies and mash, and all these Chelsea Dodgers, and all these wrong accounts. Oh, put out. Get him out. Get him out. Listen, let's have it right. I always said, Pochettino, let's have it right. Let's re-eat wine. When a minerals man says, Selector is Bottletino, bruv. Yeah? When Bottletino first got appointed, I said, number one, he's going to be a yes man. He's the best yes man you can get out of the abysmal, disgraceful list that they gave us, bruv. Yeah, that's the first thing. The second thing is he will be the full guy. He will be the guy that everyone feeds their agenda on. Bottle Tino is getting that all season because let's have it right. It's not his fault, mate. You had Jellyfish Potter there and everyone was going, it's not you, Potter. It's the players. It's the players. Uh, yeah, how did that go? No, it wasn't very good, was it? Actually, no. You look like mugs because um, it was a uh, majority of the signings and the state of the football club behind the scenes. That's why we're capitulating. It's the structure. It's the circus at Chelsea Football Club. That's the issue. Now we come into this season. Sack Pochettino. Bring me the herpes. Bring me the, the herpes. Let's go and raid the Seagull Merchants yet again. And do you know what? It's the usual suspects, the Twitter virgins, the little football manager, the FIFA merchants, cutting shapes, 
playing shapes like they're in a club in their mum's basement. Let's have it right. Loving it. It's vibing for the fraudulent Wolverine with his slick back hair and uh, his little stony, fraudulent stony on. Let's have it right. Yeah, how's he doing? How did he do against the Arsenal? The Arsenal at home. Oh, they've got such a formidable home record. Where are they? Mid-table. They're a mid-table club. They won nothing. They're rubbish. What? We're benchmarking our whole club, based our whole club against Seagull Merchants. Let's have it right. That's the severity of the situation, not Bottletino. Bottletino's the least of your worries, mate. Yes, he's not elite. We know that. He's not an elite gaffer. Absolutely not. Real respective. The guy's gone, bruv. He's dead man fingers at this rate. You know what I'm saying? And his fingers are falling off like the geezer in Robocop, melting in acid. Let's have it right. Well, let's go one step further. Jeff Goldblum in the fly, bruv. I mean, that's basically what Chelsea is. You know, the transition from Roman Abramovich. He's a good looking geezer, slick, healthy, landing down minerals. Again, we get, then he gets taken over by Clown Lake, com get, com gets completely possessed by Clown Lake. And then you start to see it, bruv. Limbs are falling off. Starts growing all this hair all over the gaff. Then he turns into a fly. And what does the Minerals FD FC do? Minerals FC comes, what, what? Yeah, what, 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 what? Bang. Yeah, we'll have that. Thank you very much. Get you in the bin. In fact, let's have it right. Let's have it right. I'm so fucking pissed tonight. Yeah. Now, this is how I feel. I feel like John Wick. I feel like John Wick, bruv. Yeah. You've come and killed my dog called Chels. So I have to come out and take the whole lot of you. Let's have it right. And the Chels are going to follow. Everyone's going to do it. We're going to come in for blue coat. The message is loud and clear on this channel. Always. It's always been loud and clear. Blue Co out. Clown Lake out. You ain't sorted out. Don't give me this waffle. You're going to sack the gaffer. I don't want to hear it, bruv. Yeah? Sack the gaffer. How's it going, man? Go on. Bring another yes, man. What elite gaffer is going to come to this project? No one. No one wants to touch this project with a barge pole, mate. They won't go near it, bruv. Yeah? It's like it's got COVID, man. This project at Chelsea that these Clown Lakes are serving up is COVID, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it, it's worse, worse than COVID. It's the plague. It's the outright old back in the day plague, bruv. Rats everywhere, mate. Rats everywhere at the bridge. Yeah? Infiltrated our football club. And these rats have been, well, let's have it right. They're Shepherd. He's Surrey merchant with his Birkin bags. He carries them all around, feeding them out, making out their PR Happy Meals like their Gordon Ramsay scallops a la carte, bruv. But they're all rotten and off. But by the time you eat it, you'll realise But it looks fantastic, but it's not. And then in the meantime, you're getting brown envelopes handed out. Then you got Meatloaf Foley. I would do anything for pound notes. And I would do anything for pound notes. Experience. We ain't buying that. Yeah, we got old Meatloaf Foley. You got Hunchback of Notre Dame with the agenda on Roman Abramovich. As we know, full clear, it's been documented. Bruv, he had a driven agenda to buy Chelsea Football Club because of his dislike on Roman Abramovich. We got Rain Group propping these clowns like they saved us, like Superman saving everyone until the Minerals FC comes along with the kryptonite, bruv, and lands the true minerals and puts Superman and Clown Lake in the bin, bruv, in the woods. That's exactly what we do 24 7. And listen, let's have it right. The reality of the situation is. Chelsea Football Club is dead and buried. Chelsea Football Club is not Chelsea anymore, bruv. This is Clown Lake now. We had Chelsea under Don Roman. Now this is Clown Lake because this ain't Chelsea. And I've been saying it for over a year and people just keep eating and digesting the PR Happy Meals, the fraudulent, fraudulent narratives that have been flying about that you lot have been buying into. And I hold every single copy and paste merchant Every journalist, anyone who's getting paid by the club that generally loves this club and you're allowing this to continue and you're spreading this false narrative to destroy our club, you are part of the blame and you are a disgrace. You understand me? I don't want to see all this potch out nonsense. I want to see Blue Co out. Give me Blue Co out, bruv. Yeah? Why don't you say it for what it is? Change the model. Because it's the model and the structure that's destroyed our football club. It's not the gaffer, mate. What do you expect this gaffer to do, bruv? We've gone away to Sheffield United, bottom of the barrel, bruv. Literally, bottom of the barrel. It's like Meatloaf Bowley's bottle of his whiskey, bruv, where you get flakes at the bottom. The geezer's such an alky, bruv, that he just thinks he can get one last drop 
But he's so drunk, he doesn't realise there's nothing left in there. So he's taking the he's taking the paper off the bloody bottle, bro. You know what I'm saying? Addict, bro. Addict for these pound notes. Addict to gut Chelsea out. Addict with the PR. And it's the PR that's destroyed us. Let's have it right. Bottom of the barrel. Let me say it again. Not that Burnley weren't enough because they're just above Sheffield United in relegation zone. And they play well. Let's have it right. In fact, at the bridge, they played very well because we dropped points when we should be beating these teams. We should be steamrolling these teams. That's the reality situation. We apparently we had a 10 out of 10 window, bruv. 10 out of 10 window. We should be landing it 24-7 with our eyes closed, bruv. We should have Enzo, Enzo Fernandez, the Ferrari, bruv, speeding in the midfield, bruv. Foot metal, pedal and metal, bruv. No problem. Dinking balls like Cesc Fabregas, reincarnated. We've got Casado, the new reincarnated Kante, in Garo Kante. We've got Conor Gallagher, who's meant to be the new Mason man. We've got Nico Jackson, baby drug bruv. We've got Mudueka. I don't even know what Mudueka is. I know he scored, but he still looks like a grasshopper doing step overs, bruv, 24-7, bruv. Yeah? we got Mudrik, the Usain Ukrainian bolt, the, the Ukrainian Neymar, bruv. Uh, what else we got? we got, what, Sterling, who wants to be like Hazard with his arse out running. I don't know, bruv. What else we got? Who else was up front? That's it, Cole Palmer. He's basically Cole Palmer FC. If Palmer don't play, if Palmer don't deliver the minerals and the goods, then basically we ain't getting it anywhere else because Palmer assisted with the Weke. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, he ain't scoring, bruv. You know? Uh, what else we got? We got uh, at the back. Who did we have? Who did we have at the back? Brillo Pad, Cucurella. We ain't got no gusto, so you have to play poor Trev Barese, bruv. Trev Chalaba's got to play out of position. you got to bring Thiago Silva back because you're forced to bring him back because he won't sign an NDA. You've frozen him out for all this time and you bring Thiago Silva back because Thiago Silva is your only option because Bada Chile, let's have it right. Mate, what? Milo Foley went to France in a Lamborghini, bruv, and brought back Bada Chile, bruv. What did he bring back? The fucking Nissan Mike. Did he come back in a Nissan Micro from France? With Bada Chile in there, bruv? What did he do? What did he do? He traded that Lamborghini, mate. Or was that Lamborghini fraudulent with a Nissan Micro engine, bruv? I don't know what to call it, mate. But listen, don't be chanting that nonsense. That's an embarrassment, bruv. Yeah? And disarcy, disarcy, disaster, disarcy, bruv. You know what? The reality. Yeah? The reality. And Pochettino's not wrong. A draw's a good result. A draw's a very good result. Because we're, we're shit. We're average. We're a mid-table club. That's what we are. When are you going to wake up, mate? When? When are you going to wake up and understand that we're a mid-table club, mate? We are literally mid-table. In fact, let me learn the damn minerals, yeah? Let me say it for what it is, because you gutted our Champions League winning team. You sold everyone off for the pound note. And I don't want to hear none of anything else, bro. Nothing else, bro, yeah? Because the situation, the reality, let's talk reality, bro, yeah? Back to life, back to reality. Remixed by the Minnows FC is if you take Cole Palmer's goals and assists, we'd be in relegation zone right now. In fact, we would be getting relegated. Oh, fantastic. Prop it, you fucking melts. Prop it all, yeah? Keep propping it. Go on, trust the process. Where are you, you big bollocks? Where's your trust your process now? Come on, where is it? Where's trust the process? Oh, it's the gaffer. It's always the gaffer. What about a Caribbean merchant, Win Stanley? What about Stuart Little, the little fiend for a cheese, bruv? He's getting fed by a meatloaf bowling Siri merchant, yeah? They keep going, wonderful food, great meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did anyone see meatloaf bowling uh, eat with his mouth full eating? Someone took a picture. What a full kit wanker. Full kit wanker. That's exactly what it looks like. Meatloaf bowling. What a PR stunt. Look at me, guys. Yeah, I would do anything for pound notes. And I'm going to sit in a restaurant. And I'm going to look like, oh, I'm proper Charles, and I love Chelsea, and this is all on Siri Merch and Barley. What a load of bollocks, man. People actually buy into this nonsense. People actually buy into this. It's hilarious. What Muppets you are. You are. You're from the Muppet Show, bruv. It's literally Muppet Show at Chelsea Football Club. And guess who's pulling all the strings? Richard and Judy. Let's have it right. Uh, let's keep, let's go further, bruv. You know, we might as well call it Thunderbirds. It's lift off, bruv. And you got fucking Carrot Ewan Stanley like brains playing director. Like, yeah, it's all AI and scouting and Siri merchants loving it, bruv. And we got Penelope, this fucking Amanda Stately from Newcastle, the, the beauty and the beast gone wrong, bruv. 
old school series for the ones that know. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast gone wrong. Advising the Siri Merchant, advising he's like in a Rolls Royce. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, everyone's getting pulled, played like strings, bruv. It's the puppet master all day long. Uh, not us on here. No, 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 no. We don't allow that nonsense. We're too smart for that. Like I always say, we're Sweeney Todd, bruv. Nice, clean shave, bruv. Let's have it right. We'll carve you up real nice. We'll give you a proper nice, nice, nice trim. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll straighten you out because you talk bullshit all the time. And you fed and man managed to manipulate this entire fan base into buying this trust the process like uh, we're Arsenal. Like we're Arsenal. Arsenal are still in trust the process. Still, to this day. And it's five years off. What's Lego? Ed? He's in his fifth season now of trust the process. Um, so you better win something. You better win the Premier League. You know what I'm saying? Better win it. What are we going to do here? What are we doing here? What are we fucking doing here? What are the Chels saying? Why are the Chels accepting this? How are you accepting this mediocrity? Why? For what reason? Can you not see that this team is a bunch of age, average age of 20-year-olds, 22-year-olds, kindergarten FC, Epstein FC? I've been telling you what the model is. Milo Boli comes on Forbes because he's too cowardly. Well, let's talk. Enzo Fernandez talks about cowards. Well, our fucking owners are cowards. They're the biggest cowards going on in the game, bruv, because they've got no interest. They're arrogant. They won't speak to the Chelsea Sports Trust. No, they'll go through Forbes because I want to play main character syndrome. I'm the head of Golden Globes. I'm Hollywood. Hey. No, you're Charles Manson, Manson's cult, bruv. Yeah, in a caravan yard, mate. You understand me? You're wrong, and bruv. Walking around barefoot more like, wearing your Chelsea gear, is it? Getting snapped up by paparazzi in LA. What's an embarrassment, bruv? Yeah? Get that in the bin, bruv. We'll feed you to the wolves, mate. Yeah? Just like we got fed to the wolves this season, bruv. Uh, twice, was it? Yeah, I think it was. It was twice. Let's have it right. Lost to them back to back. Oh, that's a that's a little reminder. Well, let's tell you the reality. The reality of Chelsea Football Club is that we are below mid-table club. Really, in reality. Without Cole Palmer. You made one great little sign-in. Why? Because he's come from Manchester City. Creme de la creme club. Best in the world right now. Best gaffer in the world. World-class players. A spine. Do it properly. Don't implement kindergarten FC. Multi-club and all this nonsense. They do that outside of the first team. And they just won the treble. Yeah, they're the benchmark. And he, he left. He left there. And now he's the big daddy at Chelsea. Because there ain't anyone else that's got the minerals to step up, bruv. No one. Sterling's not getting played, and he's the only experience up front. And Thiago Silva's been exiled because of an NDA, and he was forced to be played today. And then we've got Petrovic. He's not a number one goalkeeper. I like him. He's got potential. A lot of these players, some of them, got potential. But potential ain't enough. Just like, Mud Mud was it Mudrick? Yes, yeah, Mudrick. Let's have it right. Where well, he's got tattooed on his neck, you know, talent ain't enough. No, it ain't enough. Why didn't he, why didn't he fucking imprint that with an iron, a heated up iron rod with the talent ain't enough? and imprint it on Meatloaf Bowley and Siri Merchant. How about that? Because I don't think they get it. I don't think they understand with this whole data AI nonsense that, um, yeah, they're all going to they're all gonna go on the same trajectory. Everyone's going to develop. Everyone's going to be fantastic. It's literally football manager. It's all digital. We're in the matrix, yeah? Well, right now, our club is Neo, bruv, in the chair, bruv. And they say, he ain't stopping, bruv. He ain't stopping. And you've got brown envelopes flying everywhere. You know, when you see all those fucking weird, um, uh, like, octopus-looking machines, bruv, out in spaceships, bruv? Well, that's all the brown envelopes. And we're trying to get away from the brown envelopes. Brown envelopes are just taking over, man. They've infiltrated. They've set the narrative. They've literally completely taken over the psyche of the Chelsea fan base. And the fan base is gone, bruv. It's gone. There's no saving it, bruv. Yeah? At this rate, they've taken a red pill. We take blue pills at Chelsea. They've gone for the red pill. You know, uh, trust the process and all this nonsense. There is no process to trust. There actually isn't a process to trust, mate. Someone show me what the process is. Because we're now, what, 19 or, no, it must be almost 20 months into this project. 20 months and they spent 1 billion. You're telling me this team, this squad is 1 billion's worth. 1 billion. Let me say that again. 1 billion. Billion, and the only player that is carrying this team, landing their minerals, is a forty-year-old Tiago Silva, and a Cole Palmer. 
we've got a midfield like the Bermuda Triangle, bruv, except they don't go missing in this, this, this Bermuda Triangle, the opposition. They go in and out like it's Nico Jackson with slosh pot wet. But hold on a minute, he misses when he fires at slosh pot wet. So that's no good either, bruv. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it's just shambles. It's just an absolute shambles. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know. You must be really stupid. You must be stupid. Because I know the funny thing is Johnny Minerals is right. I'm always right, mate. I don't get it wrong. I'm right about everything I say. Most of the things I say is because I know it's the truth. And the truth always prevails. All truth always comes out. Well, the truth told me, as I told you at the start of the season, it's going to go like that. It's going to get toxic. And we're going to finish 10th. And at best, we finished eighth. You know what the prop was today? And after beating United, you got all done, you merchants. You got done by what? The false hope merchantry. The false hope propaganda that we're going to kick on. And if we beat Sheffield United, and if we win our games in hand against Spurs in Arsenal, we're going to get Europa League football. We're going to finish fifth. Look at the delusion, bruv. Look at the delusion. It's like you really need to go spec savers, bruv. I don't know. You must be a scent of a woman, Al Pacino. I'm in the dark here. I'm in the dark. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I can't see nothing. But hold on a minute. Even Al Pacino sent a woman. He can smell the damn minerals are off. He can smell it's all off. He can smell it. Scent it. He's got the scent, bruv. He's got the mineral senses, bruv. Yeah? To know that you can be blind as a bat and still see the state of this football club that has been destroyed and gutted all for the pound note by the owners, no one else. Drink them minerals in. Understand where we are. This team are a bunch of average, unproven players. Unproven. And you know what? You're playing them non-stop, week in, week out. They haven't had a, they haven't had a game off. Carl Palmer's played 90 minutes of every game. Mums off. Hey, 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 what a surprise. Woo, bingo. We're going to do a Phil Daniels magic trick. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Let's land it. Yeah, we're 2-1 up with what? Two minutes to go? No, let's have it right. Let's concede a goal. Bear de Chile come from France in a Lamborghini with Milo Boli to fucking send Sheffield United uh, to get the one point. Bottom of the barrel team. I salute every single away supporter, all right, every single away supporter that could travel all the way out to Sheffield or down, let's have it right, to witness that dross. It's the biggest load of dross I have seen. I, I can't remember the last time. Well, I do, actually. It happened the game before United because we lost. We drew to Burnley, bro. I have to, have to laugh. If I, honestly, I have to laugh because it's like I told you so. I, I told you lot. You didn't want to listen to me. Because you've got an agenda on me. Well, look, where's your agenda now? On Pochettino? No, no. Go go a little bit up. I'll help you. Go a little bit up. Carry in with Stanley Stewart Little. Oh, you're getting warmer. You're getting warmer. Children, children, get your lollipops. Uh, we'll go try and find a try and get up the ladder, you snakes and ladder merchants. Oh, that's it. That's it. Meet those bowling Siri merchant. Yes. And Jose Feliciano Fagaziano. Clown Lake. Blueco 22, Midco Limited. Did you know that their actual company name is called Blueco 22, Midco Limited? Isn't that ironic? It's like they've they got mid in their DNA, bruv. That is the DNA. That's the DNA they've implemented at Chelsea Football Club, you know? So again, I laugh, you have to laugh, or you might as well fucking cry, because I'm sick of this shit. Where do you want to draw the line? I'll tell you where you draw the line, yeah? You see that on the screen? Let me go that way. This way. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Down there. Down there. What's that? He says, Clown Lake out. Clown Lake it's free ring circus. Get him out. Yeah. Right. So we go with a protest. We get our banners and we land the damn minerals and we want them out. Just like Strasbourg Ultra. Strasbourg Ultras are not even as bad as we are. And they're protesting. In fact, they've already protested. So it shows you what a shamble of a, of a fan base we've got at the moment. It's completely divided. It's the old tactic, divide and conquer by these clowns. <coughs> they think they're playing that board game risk, bruv. 
you know, the, the, the old Yanks that they are, they probably love it, bruv. They love it, bruv. You know, sitting in there with their Havana. Sorry, they don't smoke Cubans, do they? Actually, they do. They legally import them because they do like a Cuban cigar, but you can't buy them in America. So have it right, which is the loophole. They're loophole merchants. They'll find any way to get what they want. Well, they're sitting there in their lovely suite with their with their pool table and their golf uh, digital game. And they're sitting there with their whiskey and their, uh, their Havana cigar playing a game of risk to see how can we completely destroy Chelsea Football Club for the pound note? How can we milk this football club? How can we extract as many pound notes as possible? And then we'll, trans we'll translate them and tra um, we'll, we'll actually do a currency, nice, a nice little currency switch, yeah, uh, into dollars. Did you know that one billion actually converts to $1.3 billion spent? Did you know that? It's not even a billion boy club anymore. It's the 1.3 billion blue bottle jobs. Because today was a bottle job. Today was a reality hit again. And I don't know how many more of these reality hits you need to get uh, uh, in the fan base. I really don't know, bruv. Honestly, I don't know anymore, bruv. Yeah? PR Happy Meals. PR Happy Meals. So anyway, let's talk about the game quickly. Let's. I mean, what's it talk about? It's beyond football, mate. This is, this is beyond football, beyond the game. How was Enzo today? How was Casado today? Apparently Enzo was giving it big and to uh, Wilder. Wilder's come back to Sheffield United to help them because they know they're going in the championship um, and bring them, try and bring them back up Premier League. That's who we're playing. And he's giving it lip to him, like gave it a lip to Mason Mount to play a massive PR stunt. But he doesn't do it on the pitch with his feet, bruv, which is what he's paid to do. All right? A lot of these players, Jackson, bruv, I mean, this guy's got a touch like a cement-booted rat. Let's be real, bruv. This guy ain't got, he can't finish no dinner, bruv. He's trust the cum shot at Chelsea Football Club. I'm done with it, bruv. I'm absolutely done with it. But anyway, um, Thiago Silva scores the first goal. And you lot wanted him bench. We play better without Thiago Silva. All right, we play better. But I'm not going to, you lot are going to feed a gender on Thiago Silva because we drew the game. We bottled it. The reality is it wasn't Thiago Silva's fault. And secondly, he done his part scoring a goal and basically keep us in this fucking game throughout the 93, four minutes that we played it, bruv. All right? So I don't hear no Thiago, Thiago Silva slander. And on top of that, let's have it right. On top of that, what did he do? He hasn't played any minutes leading up to this game. You've thrown him in there, all right? With no run-up, no easing in, bro. But every player is playing 90 minutes cons consistently and no one's getting breaks. The only ones that are getting breaks is Sterling, Mudueke, uh, uh, what's his name, Mudrick, um, and, and alternating. But reality is the, the first 11 picks itself. Pochettino's got no choice. Do you know what the joke is tonight? Do you know what the joke was? Chelsea's XG was 0 0.4575, whatever. Sheffield United had an XG of 1.6, 1 1.4, whatever it is, you XG pool merchants. And forget stats, because stats is a fagazi. It's the biggest smokescreen. And it doesn't tell you the true narrative, because we, we, we use the eye test, mate. Yeah, all right. They have got a better XG. How is a bottom of the table getting relegated team got a better XG than Chelsea Football Club that has got an array of talent, an array of minerals? Pochettino can't do nothing with his team. You can bring me Sir Alex Ferguson back, all right? You can bring me Pep Guardiola. You can bring me the veneer merchant. You can bring me, what's his name? Tommy T, Jose Marino. No one's going to fix this because the, the problem is the structure, guys. The structure. And who implemented this structure? They did. They said, we're, we've got to stay on course. What's that? Eight and Senna, bruv, on in the Formula One race, bruv. That's what the course is, mate. Yeah? Disaster. This is, this is trust and sabotage at this rate. Yeah? You are literally trust and sabotage at our football club. Do you understand me? When, when are people going to wake up? When? I, 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 honestly, you deserve everything you get. Or you really do. We've got rivals laughing at us. Everyone's laughing at us. Everyone's drinking it in. I'm not drinking it in. I'm not laughing, bruv. I told you. I warned you. And here we are sitting here to talk about what? You're going to get all these wrong and platforms go about, oh, we just need a defensive coach. Well, why did we let go of Anthony Barry then? And let him go to Tuchel to buy Munich, who's probably going to go with Tuchel to Man United. Why do we do that? 
And who have we brought in? And what? We've got a, a Brentford set-piece expert guru, they call him. Brentford. Are you winding me up, bruv? Who what? They're above relegation. We're picking off uh, seagull merchants, employers, employees, players, overpaying. You want the, the herpes. He's going to fix it all because we love the horizontal, the vertical. We want to cut shapes because we're what? We're buzzing. We're so cool. We're so hipster. We want to go hipster of see at Chelsea. Forget about trust winning trophies. It's trust the process. We're going to play amazing football. We're going to see. Listen, I ain't even seen a pattern of play. When I watch Chelsea all season, it's like Forrest Gump's handing out box of chocolates and he's saying, uh, you don't know which one you're going to get. That's Chelsea Football Club. It's like life of box chocolates. You don't know which one you're going to get. It's a pick and mix, bruv. It's a Harry Bone mix. It's a bit of Happy Meal, bruv. And you don't know what toy you're going to get. Or well, let's go Kinder Eggs, bruv. We're back in kindergarten at Chelsea Football Club. We are out of kids overpaid on astronomical death row contracts, bruv. You know what I'm saying? We're getting our pants pulled down. And then you got uh, Liverpool paying £38 million for, for McAllister. And they're in a title race. you got Manchester United who capitulated against us, where we were lucky to win that game. We were lucky to even draw it, bruv, yeah? And then we go, uh, they go and play Liverpool, who are in a title race, and go ahead of them and then draw the game, bruv. And they had a youngster playing centre-back against us. Do you know how lucky we were that they had Varane go off? They had, jo jo uh, what's his name, Johnny Evans come on, and Johnny Evans went on, they brought a kid. They had wan playing with a little knot or head injury, and we still managed to, they, 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 they couldn't hang on, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Because why? Because of Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer's the only decent minerals that we got. And that's one billion spent, which tells a valuable lesson to these clown lakes. Let me educate you, meatloaf bailing Siri merchant. When you go and buy young players, they're not all guaranteed to be elite, mate. They're not all guaranteed to be world class. You'll be very lucky in every generation slot in football to buy young players that turn out like Mbappes, that turn out like Kai Havertz's, that land the minerals and the Mason Mounts and the, the Harlands of this world, bruv. You know what I'm saying? You don't get them all coming out like that, developing like that. You don't get Lionel Messi's in Brazil and in Argentina uh, and where else? In Portugal, where you send Joe Shields, who's a top scout, don't get me wrong, but not every player's there, bruv. We're done. We're finished, bruv. I told you lot we're done out here. I told you lot, you know, and all the Minnows FC Ultras, they understand, bruv. They know it. They've known for ages. And we've been sitting here laughing at everyone, bruv. We, we're laughing at the Liam Gallagher's who are crying their eyes out, mugging themselves off, going, oh, put the kettle on, Paul. Oh, yeah, what kettle's that, mate? You ain't putting the kettle on. No, we put the kettle on. We're the elite minerals, bruv. We're the truth tellers. We're the true narrative, bruv. We don't muck around with PR Happy Meals. We're too smart for that. We dissect them. Every single one of them gets called out. Every single one of them. We call out all the wrong ones, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, everyone smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button, bruv. Hit the subscribe button. Every single one of you. Make sure we get out there sharpish, bruv, so we can dominate on this, on this platform. We need to dominate, bruv. We need to scare them even more, bruv. Do you understand me? Because they're rattled. All the, all the ones that are bought are in the pocket, that are forcing this, be patient. And it's positivity. It's toxic positivity, FC. And, you know, the owners need to get it right. What? Get what right? Everything they've done, they got it wrong. And they're still happy to sit there, ignore the Chelsea Supporters Trust, ignore the supporters who know football, know their club, and have their standards, and just go, now. Nah, we'll put that to the side. We're not interested. The arrogance is an insult to the Chelsea supporters. And we have to make a stand. Like I reported yesterday, yesterday, I'm going to put it up right now. Yesterday, this is what came out. Chelsea fans back to boycott the club and turn the board. This is by Keith Winnes. Yeah, Keith Winnes. But this is what I want to bring you. This is what I'm going to bring you right now because this is the most important thing that needs to be said on this channel. And I'm going to scroll right down to it right now. It says, I can see the fan base becoming very disgruntled and vocal very quickly. They're a very professional fan base with lawyers and bankers who can give you a very hard time in the media. The fan now has greater power in terms of dictating what happens with their club. 
protests come very quickly and you can see it starting to go sour at Chelsea. So have it right. The supporters have the power. So now I'm saying this loud and crystal clear. We're not in the crystal maze. We're not in the crystal ball here. We're on the minerals of sea. We're going to say it crystal clearly. Yeah. It is now time to protest and boycott these clowns. Because if we do not do that, they're not going to sack the gaffer. And if they do sack the gaffer, we need it to go deeper rooted, sack the directors, both of them, everything, and start all over again and bring us elite directors and elite gaffer and change this fraudulent model. And if you ain't going to do that, your pockets are going to be stung to shit. We're burning holes in your pockets. So all the money's falling out. Let's have it right. There ain't nothing to grab out of your deep pockets because let's have it right. You're going to look like you've got short arms now. Because now you're penny pinchers. Now you know FFP's up your ass. So you can't even rectify it. But no one wants to talk about that. They want to bring up, oh, Aussie men. We're going to get Aussie men. And we're going to go and buy this player and that player. What big load of waffle, bruv? Listen, trust the protest because it's the only thing we can do to save our club. And we can force these clowns to sell. They can sell because they've spent the one billion in the clause, which means they can extract money. Meatloaf Bowie's sitting there earning 20 million a year sitting as a chairman, milking our fucking club for doing what? Destroying it. He's destroying our club with Clown Lake, Siri Merchek Barley, bruv. As a chairman and co-owner with a Glazer Claws bait. Yeah? Understand what we're dealing with. So that we can sell the club, mate. The PR and the media have told you they're locked in for 10 years because that's what they want you to believe. Go and find me the proof they can't sell the club. Go on, I dare you. Like you, come and come and find me the proof that Bald Hog said what he said about Mason Man because there's not one fucking video in any presser, anywhere on the timeline, anywhere in any article that he said what he said the eve before the Manchester United game with Chelsea, Yeah. All right, that's the first thing. Any United supporters, you land it in the chat and you tell me if there's video evidence. And if there's video evidence that that came out of his gob, I want you to tag me in it and I'll happily put it up on here. All right, the second thing is, is a load of lies, bang mash, bangers and mash waffle, propaganda for the clown legs to try and turn the fan base to hate Mason Mount like they did and disgracefully booed him. That's how they control the fan base using Fabrizio Romano's independence, Tom Roddy's commercial communications director at our football club that he employed, all right, who works with the Times. Puppet strings, mate. Puppet strings. You understand me? Go and find me the evidence. Because for it to Romano, you're a fraud, bruv. Yeah? In fact, we've got 700 of you lot in here. Now, I want you all to see for it to Romano, mate. Yeah? The one that you worship, bruv. This one you worship, bruv. And while you do that, while you watch this and see the evidence, bruv, and the receipts, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Let's have it right. To get money from agents to publish information is not legal for a journalist. After one second, find one proof and I will deactivate my account. Fab, I think, I think you're taking this a bit, a bit to heart, honestly. No, it's not too hard. It's too hard because you are on your fucking sofa just using my name and attacking me from your Twitter account with no face, no name and nothing. Just joking on me. Yeah. It's, not, it's not too hard for me because I'm working and I don't like to go on Twitter and see the shit you're putting. Okay. So it could be too hard for you, not for me. I'm working and I don't want someone else to come in and joke on my news. You can joke about it. It's fine. It's humor. It's okay. But joke, not say that I'm getting money because I'm not getting any fucking money from the agents of any player. So okay. joke whatever you want. Do humor on me, on my name, or whatever you want. I'll it's make fine. it clear. I'll make it, I'll make it clear. Yeah, let's make it crystal clear. I, on my channel, only want the best for this football club. That's all I want. I love my football club. I'm defending my football club. I'm speaking the truth. What's going on at my football club? And yet you want to call me toxic and a gender merchant. I'm not Chelsea. I'm not proper Chelsea. I'm not this. Because what? I'm what? It's deemed negative to you lot. I'm toxic truth. That's what I am on my channel because I've been telling everyone about the project. I've known about this model and this project. It's project destruction. Just like when I was with Sizzle in Starbucks before the game and there's a geezer that sits in the dugout, season ticket holder, 
and he said, this is Project Destruction during the game. And Pochettino turned in during the game and looked him eye in the eye because he knows it's Project Destruction. He knows his projects are for Gazi. Pochettino knows it. He's signed up for it. He's NDA'd up to his eyeballs. He can't say what it is, bruv. This is a mid-co project. Mid-co. Strasbourg are land the damn minerals. Strasbourg are protesting. We have to unite with Strasbourg and protest because we have to change the model. We have to do it now. We have to do it now because you need to get the process in motion, the true process, the actual minerals of ambition, That having that mentality to go, we got it wrong. We admit it. We're going to sack these mid-directors. We're going to sack this mid-gaffer and we're going to bring you an elite gaffer, top-notch. Winner. People go, oh, look at Mayno. We buy young kids. Look at Mayno. Yeah, but look who Mayno's playing with at Manchester United. Look who he's playing with. He's got experience around him. Our kids don't have any experience. The only experience we had in our team today was Thiago Silva, bruv. And he's 40 years old on, on the borderline of, of, of retiring. Get out of your basements. Yeah. Wherever you're locked up and and, and 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 literally get some light, bruv. Because I don't know what you are doing, yeah? You, you're allowing our football club to go in the bin, in the gutter. I'm not. I can I can put my hand on my heart and stand here with chest and say I've done everything I can possibly do with all the power that I have, that I have built up, with all my Minnows FC Ultras that support this channel to put the true narrative and to wake everyone up. And smell the love at Super Grandma. The reality is, you still want to go with the PR Happy Meals. You still want to believe these brown envelopes. And all these copy and paste merchants, all these tier one journalists, they don't care, bruv. Even Matt Law is actually speaking truths and people are agenda on him because they know that he got basically cancelled by these owners. He got cancelled by the owners because he actually said, I'm not going to be bought, bruv. Because he's a football man. And I've been told this. So have it right. Understand what we got our football club. Understand the reality of what's happening at Chelsea. Because if we don't, and we don't stick together, we're done. He says here, Chelsea owners want to see good results between now and the end of the season and are currently not discussing any replacements from Mr. Pochettino. That's via Fabrizio Romano. Fabrizio Romano is the mouthpiece. They've been saying this the whole time, they're Jellyfish Potter. And you had Pornstein come out, which is why he blocked me, because I called him out on it, and I added him. This only time I've added him, and he blocked me, all right? The Pornstein dagger, the bomber, and all that nonsense, yeah? Because he said, oh, Potter's uh, not got months. He's got years. He's one of the best managers in the world. How did that go? Yeah, great PR. PR is what's killing our football club, because it's all lies. Our standards are in the bin and in the mud, bruv. They're absolutely in the mud. You know what, yeah? Let's talk about experience. And this is why we lost. We basically, I feel like we lost this game. I feel like we lost the Burnley game. It feels like a loss. We're still, we're what? We're ninth or tenth now? Are we ninth or tenth? I don't really care. It's irrelevant. In fact, even if we won this game, we were sitting ninth with one game in hand. That game in hand, according to everyone, but it'll be two games and it's Spurs and Arsenal. You ain't winning these games. Maybe Spurs, because it's Spurs and they capitulate and they've got Andrew at the helm. All right. And I get that, all right? But Arsenal, no chance. Which leads me on. Which leads me on. All you wrong and all you melts. Propping the sale of Mason Man. Propping, propping the sale of Jorginho. Propping the sale of Kovacic. Propping the sale of Kai Havertz. Where are they now? Kovacic is in a title race with Man City, who apparently was Deadwood. Mason Man is, let's have it right, uh, capitulation at United, who's still above us because they got experience to hang on to. And to dear life, bruv. And they're going to bring, they've got a new owner now. And the Glazers sold a share. And they're building a whole structure at Manchester United. And they're trying to get up there. And they will. They'll get up there. They'll stay up there. They'll find a way to get through. Mason Mount's been injured the, pretty much the whole season. He's coming back. And he'll land it. And he'll land it next season. You're going to be in the muddy respective because he's a baller. And then you've got uh, Jorginho. Jorginho just assisted 
assisted Kai generational Burkamp esque minerals, Havertz, like I said, like I said at Chelsea, I told you lot, this guy's a baller, bruv. And when we had him, we signed him at 18 years old because Roman Abramovich fought two for nil for Kai Havertz. And I know that he did. He fought two for now because Rome was a football man. He bought Kai Havertz in COVID, Bayern Munich were after him, Real Madrid were after him, Liverpool were after him, Man City were after him. Everyone was after Kai Havertz and we bagged him and we were celebrating, bruv. He's a baller. This geezer in his first season comes to Chelsea, lands the damn minerals, bruv, wins us Champions League. We go the next season, we get top four, we go next season, he wins us Club World Cup, Super Cup, just like Mason Mount did for our football club. And now you've allowed these fucking clowns to sell Jorginho for tuppence, 12 million, and go to Arsenal, all right, mid-season, because they bought Enzo Fernandez thinking he's a six when he ain't a six. He's barely a fucking eight at this rate in the Premier League. He runs like he's underwater, like he's Jorginho playing number eight. And Jorginho can't play number eight, which tells you everything you need to know, bro, all right? And then you bring us Casado for 150 million, who you think is a six, and he's not. He's an eight as well. And we've got Lavia. Is he even a six? I think he is. And he's out for the whole season, played 35 minutes. And you sell Jorginho mid season, and he's our vice captain, leader, general, who, let's have it right, I gave him stick, bruv. Yeah. I rated him, but at the same time, you know, transitional issue, but it was a team balance thing. We needed tweaks at our club, not a complete gutting, mate. Yeah. But you sold him for nothing, 12 million. He goes to Arsenal, he's settled in, and now he's landing down minerals, bruv, pivoting, bruv, with Declan Rice and Odegaard in the midfield, bruv. All right. You got Kai Havertz, who you lot were all mudding, giving it all agenda, polluting the Arsenal fan base, who fed an agenda. Let's have it right. All you Arsenal goons were feeding the agenda on Kai Havertz. And I said to you, you all be in the mud. You all be in the bin. And so the Chelsea supporters, because Kai Havertz is a generational baller. He's a special Rolls Royce player. And we should never have let him go. And you don't fucking well sell creme de la creme players that are young, that fit your project, to go to a rival club. And not just any club, Arsenal Football Club, who are actually competing last year. So you've strengthened them. But you thought, oh no, we've weakened them with Kai Havertz. He's a lanky giraffe, isn't he? Is he? Is he really? Do you know he's second on the list to Cole Palmer since January for goal contributions? You know he's got his nine goals now. Equaled in, oh, but he's equaled Nico Jackson. Nico Jackson's got his nine goals. Yeah, great. Where are we fucking in the league, he melts? What about Cole Palmer's 30 GA, 31 GA? Where are we in the league? It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant, bruv. What matters is Kai Havertz is GA. Because Kai Havertz is GA, he's putting Arsenal well in the title race. And I swear to fucking God, bruv, if he lifts that Premier League, man, I will never fucking forgive you. Never, bruv. Yeah? Do you understand me? You clowns haven't got a clue what you're doing. You're so mad of Manchester United. What are we doing here, mate? For the pound note for FFP, but you lot fed agendas. Oh, they wanted to leave. They forced themselves out. Shut up, man. Get in the bin, man. I'm sick of this narrative, bro. Yeah? Guy has been clutch for them. And their supporters have got their chant. And they're loving him and chanting him, bro. Give him support. You're meant to fucking support your players. And I'm supporting players. I'm at a ground supporting players. These players are fucking mediocrity, man. I'm not trusting this process. This process of Fagazi. This process is a lie, mate. He's not going to work. He's never worked in the history of football. So what makes you think it's going to work now? It ain't ever going to work until you go and buy us experience. Go and buy some fucking men. Go and buy some 27-year-olds, some 26-year-olds with experience and minerals pedigree, bro. That one something, man. We let go of our winners, mate. We ain't got no winners in our team, man. No winners. This is the problem at Chelsea. We spent one billion, you ain't got a core, man. And you let go of Kai Abbott's like that. And he's going to be the difference. At this rate, Liverpool drop points. They're sitting top of the table with goal difference. Goal difference. Do you understand me? They've got the best defensive record in the league. And they're scoring the most goals. And Kai Abbott's is in that team. Because it's not just about his GA. He's playing fucking false nine as well. Out of position. And he's doing his land and minerals linking the team, bruv. Putting in a shift. Getting free kicks, assisting, playing balls in the moment, bruv. Letting them damn minerals, bruv. What we fucking got? Nico Jackson acting like Bambi on ice. Dreaming of slosh pot wet. 
who's now having a romance with a fucking goon tells you everything you need to know, bruv, about his fan base is a shambles. All right? Only fans as well, man. Get in the bin. What are we doing here? Go out in the real world, man. Go 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 out in the real world and, and go and meet some girls. You know what I'm saying? Have a have a bevy, get dressed up, get your gear on, you know. What's all this nonsense, bruv? Social media has just destroyed football, PR, everything, man. It's a, it's a shambles at this football club. It's a shambles as a whole, bruv. Even Cafu came out and said, I don't want Brazilian players going to the Premier League because the English media, PR and overrate players. So these Brazilians think they're better than what they are. What do you think our clown legs are doing? They're doing exactly the same thing, paying them astronomical wages. Come to Chelsea, come to London, out of the slums in Brazil, and we're going to turn you into a superstar, feeling a false hope. And what do you think with these players? These players get burnt out. These players don't get to develop naturally because they've got pressure. And the only pressure at this football club is from us supporters. It ain't from upstairs. It's all trust the process. We need to give it five years, guys. It's the beachhead streamline. Fuck me, man. I'm tired of repeating myself 24-7, mate. 24-7, bruv. We kept Broha and Jackson to be our main guy, yet they're saying, oh, no, we need a striker, we need Ozzyman. But hold on a minute, Jackson's the baby Drogba. Jackson's the guy. Like, what are we doing here? Really, what are we doing here, bruv? What do you expect to happen when you sack Thomas Tuchel, who's won as Champions League or had the levels, bruv? Had Pep Guardiola losing more hair follicles than he's losing now, mate. Yeah? Veneer merchant had to go back to Turkey, bruv, because he chipped his veneers, mate. You understand me? Lego head. He's just just a Lego head, bruv. And now you've allowed to... What I'm trying to say is you've strengthened rivals. I could understand selling to Real Madrid, a Bayern Munich, out of English League, bruv. But you're getting them a direct London rivals to help them and strengthen them. And he's bringing them Champions League experience. He's bringing them Premier League experience. But he's only 24 years, 23 years old. You're not allowing him to develop. And these fucking hypocrites in our fan base, bruv, they go, oh, Kyvis is shit. He was shit for a year, two years. When our team needed surgery, when we had the cement boot wrap, we had sanctions, we had our wing backs injured, we had a capitulation, Chelsea. We had all the shit going on behind the scenes. And you still want to feed shit on our players. Then you get Tuchel sack, Jellyfish Potter, these clowns by and have a squad of 50-odd players of inexperience and experience. And everyone's looking going, this is a shit show. It's a circus, bruv. All right? And you've got the audacity to go, give these players time. Give these young pits. Oh, he's only 20 years old. He's only 21 years old. Well, Kai Evans was only 21 years old at Chelsea, 22 years old. And Mason Mount was only 20, 23, 24 years old. Yeah, 23 years old when he left Chelsea. All right? And they won us Champions League. Super Cup World Cup. They got us top four. We were getting top four comfortably, bruv, whether you like it or not. And now you're propping this shit. You deserve everything you get. Honestly, you're an embarrassment. Get your own brain, man. Your brain cells have been literally extracted from you, bruv. Like Neo in the Matrix, bruv. Yeah? There ain't no Neos, bruv. You're literally Agent Smiths, a lot of you. Brown envelope wannabes, bruv. Uh, big up the Brian. He says, mud them all, Johnny. I need Badashile next spud gaffer out the door. July 1st, early morning, Niles. Up the Chels, up the Minnells, long live Chelsea old boys. Big up to you, Brian. Minnells FC Ultra member for four for four months, my geezer. Big up with George. He says, Enik out, Levy out, Clanglet out, ruining football. And this is a scary thing, is that what Levy's doing at Spurs is, is they're, they're the most profitable club. And these clowns are licking their lips going, we're going to do exactly the same thing. It's all about stadium, concerts, NFL, out of football events to raise capital, to raise money, buy properties, real estate, their equity merchants, their venture capitalist merchants, their hedge fund merchants, their clowns, their yanks, let's have it right. And they've got nothing of any interest, of a real ambition to have us winning and competing the ambitions for the pound note and financial ambition, bro. Yeah. <coughs> and they're looking at that going, well, Spurs are making money. They ain't winning nothing. They ain't even competing, bro. Even their gaffer is going, if you just want to get in the Champions League, then don't, don't bother. Yeah. What's the point of being in it if you're not going to be able to try and win it? You've always got to be in it to win it. Big up Grosuma. He said, we beat Sheffield 6-0, 5-0 up after 40 minutes. You see what I'm saying, bro? They're a team, man. Lego's got them a team because why? They're building with Lego head merchant and Edu sucks toes. And then the Stan Kroenke is Sam, bruv. And they're working together aligned with a structure and a core. Uh, Lego head knows who the tea lady is, bruv. 
probably knows what the menu is every day, bruv, because he's got everyone's diets like Antonio Conte, the diet for Lukaku in Inter Milan, bruv. And he's Inter Milan. Let's have it right. Chelsea old boys is up there now in heaven, giving him 90 slaps, bruv, for wearing that number 90 for 90 million in that Inter Milan shirt because he rats on our football club. That's who you should be booing, not players that won you trophies and delivered at your football club and got exiled, exiled at his football club and forced out for a pound note. And that's the embarrassment, bruv. You know, we couldn't even beat Sheffield United who are bottom of the table knowing they're getting relegated, bruv. That's it. That's the lowest of lows. It's the lowest of lows. Uh, Blues Enthusiast says, but Bowley was spotted wearing Chelsea gear yesterday. He's proper Chelsea, apparently. Apparently, apparently, um, uh, Enzo's proper Chelsea. Don't make me laugh, bruv. This guy's not low like he was at, um, uh, what's it, at Benfica. And then two days, he's tapping and his badge and pointing down. Going, I'm staying and I love the club. And then in two days, three days later, he, he gets sold to Chelsea Football Club. And he's got the cheek to say to Mason Mount about loyalty and that he's a coward for leaving. How about you being a coward leaving Benfica? How about your agents trying to force you out of the fucking, trying to get you out of the club under your request? So have it right. Yeah. All right. But you want to give it all that. It's just all PR, man. It's because he's their, he's, he's their star boy, bro. And I do like Enzo, don't get me wrong. And I think he's got potential, but he ain't landing it. He ain't been consistent. And he hasn't done anything to justify him being proper chels. He ain't won nothing or done anything for this football club. As the most majority of them, bro. You understand me? Yeah? And they want to call Meatloaf Bowley proper chels. They want to call him proper chels. This is embarrassment, bro. Let me show you what a, this is what a full kit wanker looks like. Yeah? That's what a full kit wanker looks like. Yeah? You can see it, Crystal, yeah? Let's have it right. Uh, big up to um, JF. He says, uh, Havertz goal from a Georgino assist to send us top. Arise, Sir Bowley. Thanks for your services to football. Chelsea funeral held at the Emirates. 23rd. I swear it down if we get bad by Arsenal, brother. I'm fucking done, man. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah? This team's going to get pole drive, bruv. And you know what? Kai's probably going to fucking land minerals and score against us. Oh, we're going to get Europa League. We're going to get Europa League. Shut up. Just shut up. Behave. You're talking nonsense. Zip it, zippies. Just says, I just want to thank Clan Lake for Minnell's man. I liked his goal v Brentford. How he how he popped up, popped the ball a few times v Chelsea. And today he stopped a dangerous counter attack from Liverpool. He really has Minnell's. I know he's got fucking Minnell's, bro. I know he has. You have no idea what you signed. Even United support. Do you know what? You have no idea. You have no idea. On and off the pitch. Fucking Minnell's general, bro. Yeah. And we gutted our face of Chelsea. Roman, Don Roman would never have sold Mason Mount. And he would never have sold Kai Havertz. He fought two for the Mount to fight, sign Kai Havertz. And he won in the Champions League. He won Roman in his second Champions League. And scored the winning penalty for the Cup World Cup. <coughs> to complete the set for Roman. And Mount was his academy boy, man. These clowns don't care about our club, man. They've fucked up our books. Roman left us 1.5 billion debt free. And these lot are just gutting us, destroying us, man. They're destroying us. They've destroyed us. He's finished. Look at this wrong and Monetizing content is better than winning on the pitch. Let's have it right, yeah, you Siri merchant, Birkenbag. And for anyone in here that doesn't understand why he's, why he's called... Uh, Birkenbag merchant. I'm going to show you right now why he's a Birkenbag merchant, bruv. Yeah? There's a reason, bruv. Because he walks in the bridge with a Birkenbag. What a surprise. What do you make about that? What do you make about that? You know, you let go of these players here. Let me show you something. Let me show you something, you fucking Siri merchant, yeah? All right? This is what, this is what they've gone and done at our football club, yeah? Look at what these players are holding. Look what they won us. And I swear, if Kai Havertz is lifting a Premier League and a, ch a Champions League with Arsenal, I am literally coming for every single one of you like you wouldn't believe, bruv. Yeah? 
I will never forgive you. I'll never ever want to. Uh, uh, honestly, yeah, honestly, I let us send me off the edge because we see things they'll never see. You understand me? You understand me? And all this nonsense, this PR that comes out. Oh, well, we believe Chelsea. We've built up a 100-point team at Chelsea. Um, and the data says that we should be in the top four. And we're going to use Baltino to put that in the press. Fuck me. They have literally destroyed our football club. And there is no return from here. There is no return here. There is no return from here. Is clown like out, blue coat out. You understand me? You're right. Ken Bates' legacy destroyed already. But the only thing we got is the CPO. That's what we got. We got that to hang on to, bruv. That's what we got to hang on to. And I give you my word, my loyalty. I will never stop landing it, bruv. I will never stop relentlessly landing the truth. I will never stop fighting for this football club until it's rectified. And if it rectifies and they fix it, happy days. We support you. Let's build it together, unite, and we land it. The reality is they don't want to do it. So it's no surrender from the Minnows FC, all the ultras, bruv. Let's have it right. There's no surrender on here. And now we will never sell out for pound notes. We're not like the librarian with DR, DR Merchant, DR Sports. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Teletubby Robbie. Um, we're not like that. We don't do that nonsense. We don't speak behind the scenes, the true narrative. And then when we go in front of camera, we lie for our fucking teeth. And we give a little drip and drabs. You know, we don't do that nonsense. No, not on here, bruv. Because we see things they'll never see. We see things they'll never see. And these clowns in the fan base and these platforms, they do see it, but they refuse to let everyone know that they see it. That's why it's dangerous, bruv. These clowns are the most dangerous in the game in football. They're the worst owners in the history of football. They're worse than the Glazers. They're worse than any football, in football sports, in fact. All right? These lot are so PR-driven. Yeah, that is how they've able to implement what they've done at this football club. And I've been telling everyone, I just wish, and I, I, I always wish I set up my platform, platform sooner than I did. Because maybe, maybe if I had that 10K back then, a year ago, it would have been a different story, bruv. We would have been out there big time, bruv. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck AFTV. They're melts, bruv. Yeah, let's have it right. They're just there for clicks, bruv. Yeah, I'm not that geezer, bro. I love my club. Everything I say is against every journalist, every copy and paste merchant, anyone who talks shit, bro. From day one, I've always been like that. From day one, when we had Tommy T and we had our players, I backed all my players. I gave some criticism on football in terms, but I backed everything and anyone in that club. All right. And I sure will always defend Roman Abaric. I will always defend Thomas Tuchel. I'll always defend players that land in the middles for us. And I have seen our club being gutted and destroyed. And I'm not going to fall for it. I'm not going to be that trust the process wrong and bruv. I'm not that geezer, bruv. I'm too smart for that. So have it right. I'm too ahead of the game, mate. And that's the reality situation, bruv. Yeah? You know, people are going, oh, sack po let me read you Pochettino, in fact. Let me read you Pochettino, because he's telling the truth, bruv. He's, t he's actually telling the truth. He says, at 52 years old, you identify really quick whether the team is ready to compete or not. Maybe this group is not mature enough to compete in games every three days. No, they're not. They're a bunch of kids. And people actually think that we're able to compete. We're playing one game a week and now it's sped up to three games a week and he's like capitulating. They can't take it. An intense game against against Man United, who, yeah, we won. And then it's like, oh, wow, man. Look, we're bottling it against... Listen, we're doing the same. We did it with Burnley. We're doing it with Sheffield United. God forbid what happens at, uh, 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 at the Emirates, what happens at the bridge against the Spursy. 
you know, they're still going to sell off players. They're still going to sell off Gallagher's and Cobham players. I wouldn't be surprised if they fucking flog off Cole Palmer because they have to. I don't know what's going to happen, bruv. Cole Palmer's the only only thing that we sort of like look forward to now. That's it, bruv. That's it. He also says if we analyse after the game, then a draw, then a draw was a fair. It was fair for both teams in the Premier League. You need to try to play well and also control games. Well, apparently we've got a two hundred twenty million pound midfield can't control against bottom of the bottom of the table. Sheffield United. He says Pochettino's honest and admits the draw is fair. The subs, Palmer went off, Chukameka comes on. Meduake off, Mudrik comes on. Kukurela off, Badashile comes on. Jackson off for Cassidy, who came back from loan from Leicester in January. The squad assemblement is being done by AI and scouting, bruv. That's why it's a team of individuals. That's why we always rely on individual brilliance. And Sheffield United's XG was 1.36 compared to Chelsea's 0.37. That's, an, that's embarrassing. When are you going to realise that sacking Pochettino doesn't do anything because the players are just not good enough? And you've given these players, these young kids, high wages for their age when they haven't delivered anything on eight-year contracts where you've given them player power. So they're running the dressing room and there is a divide. There's a divide behind the scenes. We're poor, bruv. That game was shocking, guys. Shocking. And the levels when you watch Man United playing Liverpool, that game, when you watch Arsenal, the way they absolutely muddied the herpes, bruv, muddied them, destroyed the Seagull merchants. We still got to play them away. Listen, relegation is a reality without Cole Palmer. When you understand that, that's how serious, serious trouble we are as a football club. And, and this is no joke. These play, there is no false hope. Forget the false hope. Forget the trust the process. It's beyond that. It's finished, bruv. And that failed act of Jennings, calling him a Judas, uh, Mason out of Judas, wanting to... Let's fucking mud him now, bruv. I'm sick of this guy, man. He goes on. He's on talk sport. He's on a major platform. Look at the state of this geezer. Yeah? Then he wanted Jellyfish Potter. And he's saying, Sack Graham. He's a flip-flopper merchant. That's what he is. He's a flip-flop. He's there for clicks. That's the reality of the situation. You understand me? Greetings from Centre Parks, by the way. That's uh, that's the background. I hope you're all well. This is just ridiculous, though, isn't it? These guys provide toxicity in the fan base. He's like a goldfish, yeah? A goldfish in the tank. Well, the sell the sell by date has come, mate. Yeah, where no one believes what you say or what that Brent de Cesar from that fraudulent United stand who's linked to the club promoting Bald Hog. You know, PR, PR, PR. Bald Hog's gone, mate, and you know it. He's going to get sacked, and they're going to bring in Thomas Tuchel to stop all this clickbait because you want your links to the club. You don't say it how it is, and you, Goldbridge, forcing this narrative about Chelsea Football Club, the supporters have to be happy. They spent a billion. They've got an owner that spent so much money and you have to be patient. Why don't you be patient with your Glazers? Why don't you team up with Terry on the football terrace when you should be protesting for Glazers out? But no, we don't want to team up because we don't want to increase anyone's channel. We don't my followers jumping on this. It's what it's all about, bro. I, I deliberately don't go on platforms. I deliberately don't go on panels, bro, because I ain't got time for it. I'm not there. You listen to me. I don't have to listen to what you've got to say. You listen to what I say. Done with it, bro. Self-made minerals, bro. Self-made minerals. Yeah? Facts. Self-made with the Minnows FC Ultras. All the Ultras, bruv, yeah? They're not stupid, bruv. They, they're here. They're here because they want to hear the, the Minnows land, the truth, man. 
They don't sugarcoat. They don't PR. They're sick of seeing it. They're sick of being lied to, mate. Yeah. Yeah, respect to Eunice. Stone Island Minerals, Eunice, bruv. Stone Island Eunice is landing it, bruv. Yeah. He's got to land it. You know what? He should exile all these fucking wrongings that he goes on with. Really? They're not, they're not there to land it for what it is. They're just not there. They don't want to listen. No one wants to listen because they're too scared. We're scared. We're scared, bro. We're scared. We don't want to get cancelled by the club. We don't want to get cancelled. I want my gig. I want. I need my gig. I need my payday. I want that. I want that celebrity. The celebrity uh, position, bro. I want the limelight. Eunice says it as it is. Eunice was man enough to come on board with me earlier on, earlier than all of you lot that are, that are so-called bringing it out now and slightly touching the surface, bro, on all these other platforms. Eunice can see it, bro. Do you know why? Because he knows football. He understands what he sees. He knows Chelsea. He's watched football long enough, mate. Mark Goldfish has got a new book. Oh, is he? What is it? Is it a book of fraudulent minerals? How I turned from uh, ex top notch bacon uh, to uh, to uh, talking about Manchester United uh, because they're the biggest club in England and in, in and in the you know almost on par with Real Madrid. Um, and I'll jump ship from Nottingham Forest and 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 become a content creator for for Man United. Is that what a book's about, or is it not? Oh, it's a book of see you next Tuesday. <laughs> oh, drink the minerals in, bruv. Drink the minerals in, bruv. Listen. I don't want to be, I told you so. I want to be, I'm wrong. I want to be wrong, mate. I want this to all work. The reality is, the data says we're fucked. Yeah? The data, the AI scouting says Chelsea fucked. <laughs> Nick says Johnny's light button has been smashed, smashed, nearly, nearly been smashed as many times as Rory's living room window. All that radiator, that radiator must be chipped, bro. It needs to get it repainted. What can we do? What can we do, bro? You have to keep landing it on on social media. You have to stop sponsoring YouTube channels that are lying to you. Don't give him the views. Don't give him the likes. Don't subscribe to them, all right? And you have to keep pushing it. Twitter spaces, X space. Tobes is landing it on Twitter, man. He's landing it. He loves the club. He's disgraced. He's, he's, he's gutted. We're capitulated, bruv. Everyone needs to land it, guys, together. Everyone has to, has to land it together. We have to fight the good fight because we've got too much divide, mate. Too much divide, bruv. Yeah? Too much divide in this fan base. We have to land it. Uh, big up to um, Edward Chamberlain. He says, data for clowns. If we concede four more goals, we'll break our record for most goals conceded in a season with eight games left, 15 points lost against bottom six. He's the worst defensive record. Um, when you think we had Jose Goat Marino with that record of only 15 goals conceded in that season. That's better than the invis Invincible season. Let's have it right. And we've won our two Champions Leagues, two Europa Leagues, Super Cup, Club World Cup. You know what I'm saying? No one can go a whole season conceding only 15 goals. You'll never see that ever in your lifetime. Like Chelsea right now, I ain't going to ever see Champions League football. I'm never going to see a Champions League again. I'm not, I don't, I'm not even going to see a Premier League again for, until these clowns are in charge. And that's the, that's the truth. No chance. I told everyone, I saw this squad at the start of the season and we're not getting above 10th. 
at best eighth. That's, that was my prediction. I need to find the clip so I can tell you lot. But you all know. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's abysmal, bruv. And imagine, just like I say, without Cole Palmer's GA and the points that he's won us, we would literally be getting relegated right now. And we would be protesting. But because it's not that bad, it is bad. It's that bad. It's that bad. That City's boy is Chelsea's man. At 21 years old, he's he's got swag. He knows he's better than every player in that team. He's looking around when he's on that pitch going, oh, mate, what was that ball? What was that touch? He's used to playing with Pep Guardiola's Manchester City players in training, bruv. Bernardo Silva's, Jack Grealish's, Haaland's, bruv. Rodri's, you know what I'm saying? Walkers and all these players, Foden's. What have we got? Our club. We're a long way from it, mate. And when we've handed our creme de la creme players to all these rivals, fucking murtles me, man. He absolutely guts me, man. Because we're a long way from it, bruv. We're a long way from Starbucks, love out Super Grandma. We're a long way from Champions League. We're a long way from Europa League, Conference League. But we're not a long way from mid-table and relegation. And that's the reality at a football club. And then you get a fan, fan advisory rule going, don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. We're going to beachhead, streamline Chelsea to maximise content and profitability. You know what I'm saying? But don't worry about a thing. Trust the process with Meatloaf Bowley and Siri Merchant and Josie Fogazi. The biggest clowns in the Premier League. Fucking hell, bruv. You know what I'm saying? That's how cringe it is. It's embarrassing. It's absolutely embarrassing. Taking a piss. Joe Shields, salute to Joe Shields, who brought us, who scouted Cole Palmer. You know, why have we got Kerry Ingwin Stanley? Why have we got Stuart Little? You've got Liverpool, knowing they're losing Veneer Merchant, straight away they've got Mike Edwards. You've got Ratcliffe coming in for five minutes. He's taken the CEO uh, from, uh, COO from Manchester City, who's at, at, um, at Broke Alona. Yeah? You've got Ashworth coming in. You've got uh, Mitchells and all these guys, bruv. They're landing it, bruv. They're building a, how an elite football club should be built. This is not elite at Chelsea. This is mediocrity. This is mid-table. This is like we've never won anything in the history of our, our, of our football club. Werner's gone to Spurs as well, and he's giving it, getting getting the skulls and, and all this stuff, man. It's just, mate, there's no loyalty in the game. These players, these, these supporters, all right, are, are being loyal to players that ain't loyal to Chelsea, which makes these supporters not loyal, bro. There is no loyalty in the game because you're hypocrites. You're forcing agendas and forcing players out that won us trophies that are young, that fit this model, that are only going to get better. And other teams now, the rival teams are going to get the best years out of these players. But you're propping these players that are fucking in the, in the dungeons, in the realms of the earth compared to their levels of the players that we had. You know, it's on the Minerals FC. It's put it in the Louvre, eh, bruv. You understand me? So have it right. No, it's waffle, mate. Guys, smash the like button. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Every single one of you. Respect to everyone that's landed down Minerals in here. I want everyone to smash the like button. It's very important. We have to put the true narrative out. And I've always said it. And I will continue. We've wanted this clown lake out for a long enough time, bruv. And this is what we got to do. And do you know what's funny? Pochettino and the influence that the Minnows FC has, because we call them clans, all of them. Yeah, let's have it right. 
Pochino come out after the Man United game saying, I'm not a clown, I'm a coach. These clowns at Clown Lake have destroyed the reputation of Pochettino. He's not a bad manager. He's a decent gaffer. But look what he's got to work with. It's like you're trying to, you want him to be a magician to turn dog shit into gold. It's just not happening, bruv. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. And that's the reality of the situation. Honestly, mate, yeah, the circus continues, bruv. The circus continues. It's what they are. They're all clowns, man. Billionaires, equity merchants, bruv. These lot don't care about football. They don't care. All they care about is data and their bank account figures. That's all they care about. And we need, we need to make a stand. We need to feed them to the, to the German shepherds, bruv. You understand me? The Chelsea have got to land it, bruv. And that's the true narrative. That's the true narrative. It's deflation FC. I just think to myself, what, what, what's the point anymore? What's the point? We're meant to, you know, what, do you know how deep it is, mate, yeah? You're meant to have football as escapism. It's meant to be enjoyable, bruv. You know, if there's a process to believe in, we'll be all for it and we'll support it. But there ain't, because it's all, it's all a lie. Big up Don Roman. Let's have it right. Shout out Don Roman. All day long, bruv. Drink these men. Listen, Roman was the most feared owner in world football. We had let, let me let me let me land it for one second when you talk about standards and 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 and, and how formidable and what an, uh, a notorious club Chelsea was under Roman yeah we had the best Barcelona team to ever exist one of the best in world football ever all right fearing Chelsea dreading to play Chelsea Lionel Messi saying it we hated to play Chelsea and they didn't fear anyone they feared Chelsea. Everyone feared Chelsea. He won the lot. And we should have won more and we would have won more. If he didn't get his club robbed of him by the UK government and the politicians, mate. And all the crooks in the game, bruv. And the pyramid merchants. And that's the reality of the situation, bruv. Now, nah, look at us. We're, a fu we're fucking soft. Soft as you like, bruv. You know what these clowns are like? These clowns are like Tony Blair, bruv. When he come into power, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Giving it all the smile and all this. And in the meantime, everything's getting fucking destroyed, mate. Yeah? Like all of these politicians, they're for, they're liars, man. They never tell the truth. They stand in front on their on their pedestal, in front of their microphone, and they lie to everyone in their faces. That's what they do. Big up Grazuma. Mills FC Autry says, Big up Johnny. Do you think we will win the league considering the Liverpool result today? And do you think we will beat Bayern? Uh, I'll be real. I think Thomas Tuchel, although he had a crap result the weekend or he's had a few crap results, I think Bayern Munich are going to beat you. The only way you're getting through Bayern Munich 
is if you win at your ground on Tuesday or whenever it is you play next week. But I'll be real. I think people should take these goons seriously right now because they're on a roll. And I think the difference, I think Thomas Tuchel's experience and the players that he's got, the experience and clutch players he's got in his team, they know that Champions League is the last option for them to win the trophy. And I think Tuchel knows how to win the Champions League because he won it with Chelsea. So he knows, and he got to the final with PSG as well. So he knows what this competition is all about. He's got all the experience and he'll know how to set him up and he'll fire up his players. So I think you will fall short because of your experience. Um, even though you've got Georgina and Kai Havertz, it's not enough. Um, so yeah, I think you'll get knocked out and long that may not continue because I don't want you win it getting anywhere near Champions League. Um, but regarding the league, you've still got to play Liverpool. And that could be a decider, but Man City are going to go on a run. So you have to win all your games. Do I think you can win all your games? I don't know. It's going to be very interesting, but I, I, I still I still feel like Liverpool is between Liverpool and City. That's what my honest gut is feeling is, bruv. Oh, you don't play Liverpool. All right. Who plays Liverpool then? Is it City? I don't know why I heard that today. But I think Liverpool got the easier fixtures, didn't they? But it is what it is. But um, listen. Kai Havertz could do the business in the Champions League and I'm going to, I'll be off my head, bruv. And I'll do a stream. I'll do a stream, bruv. I'm going to mud everyone if that happens. Mudding. I'm mudding you anyway. I'm mudding everyone. No one can mud me. I'm the Slim Middle Shady just like in eight miles spitting in the last battle, bruv, come at you with everything that you're going to come at me with. I'm not that guy. You can't banter me like that. You can't banter me. You can. You need to go to all the other platforms and mud them off. All the ones that go, I've survived the Havertz and Mount Eras and all these merchants, bruv, you know. Survived what? Us being almost in relegation, you know, being mid-table, Selling all of our champ, you don't know what you've got until it's gone, mate. And that's the reality, bro. But it is what it is, you know. It is what it is. Like I say, F your process, trust the protest. Yeah. This is what we gotta do, guys. Yeah. Everyone's got to land it. Honestly, I'm deflated, bruv. Our next game is Everton at home. Our next game is Everton at home. All right? Everton, I, I dread to think what that game's going to be like. And then after that, we've got the, um, we've got the FA Cup semi-final. <sighs> Mate, also, they should have had a red card today. But even if they got a red card, it would have been like Burnley. You know, Burnley had a red card and their gaffer sent off and they still got back in the game. We made Sheffield United look like they played well, bruv. That they looked like a decent team. They didn't even look like a relegation team when they played us. Do you know how bad that is? That's how bad we are. But Everton, mate, that's going to be dodgy. That's a banana skin for me. I think that's a banana skin. I'll be real. I genuinely thought we were going to win today. Uh, big up seven thirty says, "Brother, we have multiple clowns running our beloved club." I'm sorry, Johnny, but we will be shit for years to come. Fans are disconnected with the manager, players, and club. I'm deflated with no hope, and this is where we've got all stand together and still fight. You can't be deflated. It's very hard to say that. It's easier to say than actually do because I struggle with it as well. At some points during the season, I couldn't even put it to me a stream, bro. I think I'd just do one stream and that's it. Now, I've got to be relentless, bruv. No surrender. Militant landing minerals. Because the reality is, just like they pummel us with all this toxic positivity and false narrative and lies and trust the process, we have to we have to push to trust the protest. We have to push the truth. We have to keep exposing everything for what it really is. Because if there's not enough of us doing it and 
trying to unite the fan base into joining forces, not coming at each other, but coming together. The reality is there's such a divide because they love these players. They back these players who've delivered nothing over players that have delivered, tells you their loyalty is in stinks and it's in the bin. And they'll use PR narratives and false narratives and media agenda to back their argument to make it justifi justifiable for them to act that way. When in reality, our club has been dissected by these clowns who have created the divide and conquer. And they are conquering Chelsea Football Club, club with their clown lake blueprint, red print, hazardous print, print of destruction. You know what I'm saying? Uh, big up to replicas. says, Clown Lake told the media they were waiting for Michael Edwards. Two years, one billion later, and Edwards is back at Liverpool, and people believe these clowns. And I said, if you remember, Replica, and if you remember, I said to you ages ago, last when, when all this was it, I said, Edwards won't go near it, bruv. We can't get an elite director. We can't get an elite gaffer because of the ownership and how they wanted how their project is and their structure. That's why all you can set up for is mediocrity and this level. And that's why we as supporters have to change the model. We 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 got the power. As the, the report said from last night that came out and I brought up earlier on the stream, that we have to boycott and the supporters have the power. That was what was stated. The supporters have the power. Uh, big out of Thames, he says, need a protest before the end of the season. If we wait to the end of the season, the PR will be worse next season. Correct. The, the PR, in fact, is already been prepped, just like they prepped us winning the Carabao Cup final. They had non-stop, endless amount of content of all positivity, trust the process, and uh, for us winning the Carabao Cup, only for us to go and lose to Liverpool's C team with the Veneer Merchants kids. Embarrassing, right? Embarrassing. But you're right. Now is the time. From now, before the end of the season, we have to protest. Big up, Red Rise says, what do you think about Chelsea fans who, who are supporting Arsenal? Well, they're not Chelsea. Simple as that. That's a disgrace. Who's doing that? You're not Chelsea, you're a plastic. You're a wrong one. You're a wrong one. We don't want people like that in our fan base. They're not supporters. Who the, who the hell's doing that nonsense? <sighs> We're finished, bruv. You look at the state of us. Supporters are jumping ship that go to Arsenal. And there'll be a lot of the younger, younger supporters. We'll be leaving our club, supporting our club, which they should be supporting, and jumping ship, going to Arsenal, Man City, whoever it is. These lot are making us lose more money, lose supporters. We've got the biggest fan base as a London club. Listen, let them all go to Arsenal, bruv. Let them go to Arsenal, the wrong ones. Yeah. Let them all go to Arsenal. Let them go to other clubs. They're not Chelsea. We don't want him anywhere near him. Yeah, so a bit right. Um, if that happened back in the day, well, I think even now, not it doesn't end well, does it? Uh, big up, Captain Grudge, becoming a Mills FC Ultra member. My geezer, salute to you. They, oh, I forgot, man. The two members becoming members, bruv. Brian's a member and Captain Crunch, bruv. Yeah, what is your request of a video? You want Roman Bramich? Do you want Fabrizio Romano? Do you want Reese James is not Chels? Do you want Rory Torrey, failed actor Jennings? What video do you want? Land it in the chat. You become a member. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the chat. We did it with Don Roman. You want Roman Brian? All right. Roman for Brian. Let's go. Roman so have it right, Captain Crunch, Middles FC Ultra, Don Roman it is, we salute you. So have it right. 
Big up to you guys, man. Respect to you lot becoming the Minerals FC Ultra members, bruv. Um, and uh, like I say, bruv, you know what I'm saying? Do you know what? I'm doing it again, bruv. Let's go. Go, 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 Lampard, Petr Cech. The legends at our football club. To speak the truth. Because the supporters will listen. And the owners will have to listen. And this is what John Terry said at his charity event. I'll never forget this. He's mudding the owners. But it's not on a... It's not... It's only clipped like this. It's not been seen enough. The finals, the owners, and how trying to make decisions. And that football Give us every possibility to achieve what we're achieving that time. So we're very lucky that we have it. He's saying Roman gave them everything they needed to make sure that they win at the highest level, whereas these owners are involved in everything, making decisions. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? That's why we landed with Don Roman, bruv, because he, he still had the final say. He set the mentality, he set the standards, but he also let the professionals and the elite professionals do their jobs and gave, gave them everything they needed to ensure that we win. And naturally, you're going to make money in return, bruv. All he did, well, he left us 1.5 billion debt free as a gift because he didn't care about money. He loved Chelsea. Let's have it right. <laughs> Big up to everyone in here. Every single one of you smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, make sure you put all your comments down below. Respect to all my Minerals FC Ultras, all my members as well. Um, everyone that's um, a part of the channel and been watching. And uh, I've, I've let a load off my, my, my weight. I keep landing it as it is. Go and check out my stream with Tobes last night. It was elite, bruv an elite stream, and we're going to do many more. Um, and listen, goons here, stop living in the past. It, it, listen, it's not about living in the past. It's about using the past as your benchmark and your standards because our fan base are so jelly jellyfied, bruv, you know, that they've accepted the standards to be dropped because of these clown owners. I'm not lowering my standards. And my stance was set by Roman Abramovich. That's where I expect Chelsea to be. You should never lower your standards. The moment you lower your standards, you capitulate and you stagnate. Just like Arsenal stagnated for 18 odd years, bro. You understand me? That's the reality situation. So I'll, I'll, I'll get what you're saying. Good intentions because it's about health at the end of the day. And health's very important. Um, but let's have it right. Um, you know what I'm saying? These clowns sold play our players to rivals is unforgivable. What they've done to our football club is unforgivable. The, the complete gutting of our football club, the manipulation to our fan base is unforgivable. The PR and the lies, unforgivable. Everything. They're, they're, they're clowns. They're the biggest clowns in world football. So have it right. Um, but I'm not allowing my standards to drop. And that's why we keep it up, bro. You understand me? Big up to everyone in here. Salute to all the Minnows FC Ultras. Um, and as always, we see things they'll never see. Shout out to our Chelsea old boys. Rest in peace. Uh, he's landing the minerals. Uh, minerals FC Ultra, Chelsea Ultra. And to everyone supporting the channel, this is me done tonight. Tomorrow there'll be a stream, undoubtedly. And uh, we're going to keep landing the minerals. So keep your notifications on. Make sure you smash your comments uh, down below and push it out. Push out the true narrative. And the narrative will always be Clown Lake, Free Ring Circus, get them out. We want our Chelsea back. We want them out.
We want the clowns out. So have it right. So as always, up the Chels, up the Minnows FC. Let's go. Oh, no.